The next day, we visited Bandera Volcano and Ice Cave to better understand these two contrasting phenomena in the middle of the high desert. Jeff Alfor graciously agreed to show us around. First, we headed up the trail to see Bandera Volcano from its rim. The view from afar was impressive. Although it was spring, at an elevation of 8,000 feet, there was still snow on the ground. After erupting 10,000 years ago, the lava from this volcano suddenly fell back down the main vent, making the bottom of the deeper than the outside lava flow. So here we are at the lookout point of the Bandera Volcano. It's a beautiful example of an erupted cinder cone, uh, probably one of North America's best examples of a cinder cone eruption. It's 1,400 feet across from rim to rim, 800 feet deep. It's very rare to have a volcano, or cinder cone especially, this well preserved where you have that much depth. Um, it created a 30 mile long lava flow that poured out from this point and filled the valley below with lava, some places 10 and 15 miles wide. It was incredible to realize that the mountain we were walking on was actually molten rock that had fallen to the ground as cinders during this eruption. We took the fork in the trail to the ice cave. Created as a lava tube, this cave began to form ice more than 3,400 years ago. The cause of the original ice formation is still a mystery but conditions keep it in perpetuation. As we climbed down the stairs, we could feel the drop in temperature. This is the ice cave. It's formed inside of a lava tube that poured out of the Bandera volcano. Ice is forming in here, just the right physical factors have combined to create a natural ice box. It generates new ice every year as rainwater and snowmelt seep down from above, settles on the floor, and frees in new layers every year. The green color on the ice is the Arctic algae that settles on the waters when waters are on, settling on the ice <clears throat> and freezing. And they say that Arctic algae is floating around the atmosphere and they'll thrive any place that they can, you know, life will take hold. We did core samples and the bottom ice that we found, a twig and a piece of feather that was radiocarbon dated to be 3,400 years old. So they know for a fact that ice has been forming for that long and probably longer, but it's been forming for at least 3,400 years.